Hey yo, Hiba here and uh, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to these guide videos to Sea of Conquest. So in this video here I'll show you a really easy way of making good amounts of gold and uh, the best thing is that you actually don't have to be logged into the game to do this. But uh, first I'll show you the manual version which also in most cases allows you to make just a little bit more money. But it does actually you know, require you, you to be active. You so uh, here oh, we are in oh, a random port and you can see the port uh, commodity is pottery. So uh, we just make a note of that and uh, then after that you zoom out to the uh, complete overview uh, all the way out really and you click the little castle icon up in the left right corner and you'll see all the ports available. The red ones are uh, you know enemies and the blue are friendly. So uh, what you're looking for are the ones with the green arrow meaning that they are looking for something specific at the moment. So uh, there's three of them here so let's pick Adriana Inlet first. You can see they're looking for graphite, granite and yellow crystal. So we don't have that in the port we're in at the moment but of course you could sail to another port and pick it up. But for the moment we're going to look for somewhere with pottery. So here they're looking for oak, quartz, sand and ironware for the next four hours, right? So again, not what we want. But Spectrum Shores, they want pottery for the next four hours. So uh, luckily pottery is what they sell in the uh, port that I'm in at the moment. So uh, that's very handy for us. So uh, of course pottery is a green commodity, so it's fairly you know, normal. Of course if you get the, like, the, the rarer commo commodities, like the purple ones and the yellow ones and all stuff, you make a lot more money. But the principle is the same. Oh, so I buy a full cargo hold of pottery here. You can see we're completely full now. We have 31 of them. That's as many as we can carry. And uh, it cost me 1,200 gold, right? So uh, that's it. We're going to leave Port Moss now. And uh, the port we were looking for is the last one down here, Spectrum Shores with the green arrow. So we select that one and we click the enter button over on the right. That means that uh, we want to go to this port really. That's the gist of it, right? <laughs> so uh, we're now leaving the port automatically that we are in. And uh, we are now on our way to uh, the destination port where we should get a really good price for our commodities. Now, of course, you can do this with pretty much any port. And, you know, the overall rule is the further away the ports are, the better uh, the price you'll get. So we're here after about six minutes of sailing, we are now arriving at the destination port. And uh, this is where we're going to sell our full cargo hold of pottery, right? So uh, we just, you know, enter the port and then we go into the trading venue again, just like we did before. And uh, you see we can get 268 gold for each of our uh, pottery things here. So we use the auto select button to select all of them at once. You can also select them one at a time, but that takes a long time. Just use auto select. And you see we, could, we are gonna make more than 8,000 uh, gold on this. So a profit of just about 6.9 thousand gold. So that's very nice. No, Click I the trade button and it just gives you a transaction overview. And that's basically it. So we just made 7,000 gold here in six minutes. And uh, that's what you gotta do really. And uh, if you find ports that are really looking for stuff, you can make, you know, better money, but you don't have to. You can just, you know, sail between random ports. You're almost always going to make money. Okay, so a really cool thing about this way, this trading way of making gold here is, of course, like you don't have to fight anyone. And uh, you can actually do it while you're not logged into the game by uh, using what's called auto trade. So I'm just going to show you how to do that here. So again, you enter the trade venue. But in this case, you press the auto trade button up in the top right corner. Um, and then you have to pick a destination port. You can only use ports that have friendly relations and above. So that limits it a little bit. For example, we can't go to the one we were at before because it's not super friendly. So instead, we just pick uh, a harbor that's far away, but maybe not too far away. So it's not too dangerous. So you click it on the map and then you say set as target here and uh, it'll show you you can auto trade for 7 hours 34 minutes and you're going to make 146,000 gold doing it without doing anything. You can just close the game as soon as you click the start button, right? So there's a tick box underneath end auto trade if defeated. 
So it means that if you know an enemy sets up an ambush and sinks you, you can just stop trading because you don't want to keep doing that. But uh, we untick it and we just go on our auto trade route here. So as soon as you click the button, the ship takes off. You can see the storage is full. It has auto purchased the commodity, whatever commodity is in the uh, port. And it will now automatically go to the port that you selected. And then it will sell the commodities and then buy whatever is available in Helm Harbor and then sail all the way back to the original port. And it'll keep doing that for seven hours, 33 minutes and 20 seconds, uh, which means it's, it'll do 50 trips. So a uh, very easy way of making money. And like I said, you don't have to be locked in. And especially if you're a low level, early level player, you don't have to fight anything. You don't have to fight any monsters or players to make gold. And uh, it's just fairly easy and it's also fun. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this little guide here to how to make easy gold in Sea of Conquest. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you out there.